Greetings and salutations and welcome, Living from the Heart, Series 7. My name is Dindayel, and the purpose of these series are short stories about the human condition. What I'd like to share with you is one particular story called The Wayward Princess. Um, this story originated a very long time ago. And it was uh, started with a kingdom, a king and his kingdom, and his three daughters. One of the daughters were named Crystal. And this king, he really felt that he was God. He could do anything. You know, he had the power of life and death over any of his subjects. And he was very domineering in a lot of ways in regards of people's um, free mind, but, but more specifically of his daughters. The other two daughters, they followed exactly what their father told them to do in regards of how he wants them to do it. But Crystal did not. She wanted to do things differently in a way of expressing herself through creative arts and other things that she really wanted to do. But he wanted to gear, gear her toward marriage and other things that she did not want. And so um, the king came to her, his daughter and said, Daughter Crystal, um, I have control over your life. You have everything that you want. You must do exactly as I tell you. And, he, and she said, No, you don't. You don't have any control. I still feel in my heart what I want to do. And she said, Well, I tell you what, I will prove to you that I have control over your life and I can do what I want to do. I will sentence you to be in the dungeon. And so he sentenced her to be in the dungeon. Now, the, the kingdom, the people in the kingdom, they were wondering, why would a king sentence his daughter into a dungeon? She must have done something really terrible. And they couldn't understand that. It's like, wow, she really bad. And so uh, the king went down to the dungeon after she was there for a few months or so. He said, now you see, I control everything around you, you know, and I control the things, you know, I am the one that provides for you. I am your king. And she said, you may control the things around me, but you don't control the thing that's in my heart. You can't change the nature of what I want to do and what I want to be by trying to confine me. I'm a free spirit. Ah, you're very, very disrespectful. Since you continue to, to, to disrespect me, you're no longer part of the kingdom. You no longer have inheritance. Your other two, daughter, your other two, two sisters have them now. I declare that you be exiled and you are forced to go into the the woods to live. Go now. And so she was forced to go into the woods. And as she went into the woods, she looked around. She saw the beauty where some people would say desolation, isolation. She saw the beauty. And so she would make things trees and put them in decorations she really fell in love with nature and she was such um, an exquisite person with her hands and her creative creative arts and building things in a little hut and I mean she was just she really turned the forest into a home now prior to that there was a um, prince that was passing by and he happened to notice this woman there. And he was wondering, why would she be there? And there's no one around, and you know, but she seems to be very connected to the animals and everything. But as he approached her, they had a connection. And the connection was very deep and very, the chemistry was there. And he said, Crystal, 
I am Chris. I use the name Jan. Um, I would want I want to stay here with you, and so they stayed together in the forest. And what they did in the forest, they created this atmosphere of harmony, nature, and love in that very forest. And that forest became a, a meeting place for all people to come and to reflect and just to be at peace and be at love and find the essence of what we call the true self. It invoked the heart. It made people really get in touch with the core of who they were. Now, the reputation of this forest that all of a sudden became a kingdom spread near and wide to many different parts of the world. And our father happened to hear about this. Years have passed since then. And he was so amazed by this, this, this kingdom that, that sort of came, built up out of the forest that he came to visit. Now, he didn't recognize his daughter that she had changed and stuff. So she, he came, and as he came, and he bowed to the, to the feet of the prince and, uh, and her, uh, he, she said to, to her father, she said under her breath, because he didn't, you know, he didn't recognize it, that you see that um, we do have purpose. We do can we can change our lives. We can have the things that we want if we're clear about our intention and when and we come from the heart. It's from the heart that this kingdom was built. And left it at that. The story has many different facets and many different meanings to it. But one of the key purposes is realizing that sometime relatives People, they have their way of which they want to take you to. But when in, in your heart of hearts, you know that there's a way in which you need to go. And if you follow that 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 that, that intention, you find that purpose, you find that place. And as always, to their own self be true. But the whole hard path of life awaits you and you.